Hey everyone, it's Allie and welcome to another skin update. I'm going to start off this video by saying please, skin experts, dermatologists, estheticians, anyone who fits into any of those categories, please be kind because I'm learning. This is, as you see, a journey for me. I am not an expert by any means. I'm really trying to educate myself and it's a lot of trial and error. So as you guys can see, if you compare what my skin looks like from last week to this week, we are definitely in Struggle City right now. I have definitely been trying to like read up on different things, different ingredients. I've also been watching lots of YouTube videos. I have been watching a lot of mixed makeup, which is Susan Yara, I believe her name is. A lot of skincare by Hiram, a lot of, I think it's James Welsh. Yeah, James is the skin one, Robert is the makeup one. So a lot of James Welch, a lot of skincare by Hiram, a lot of Susan Yara. Those are like my three main skincare YouTube people that I have been watching and really trying to learn and educate myself. But this is where I'm at and I'm not gonna give up, but let me give you a little update, a little story. When I look back at my week eight video, I mentioned that I was getting a little bit discouraged because I felt like I should have had better results than where I was at. But now, now where I'm at and looking at that, I'm like, ooh, you, you are getting impatient. You should have just stuck with it. But this is what I'm learning. So since I have been using a lot of actives, I believe they're called, like chemical exfoliators and retinols and things like that. I've recently learned, and actually this morning I've had someone who's so kind to comment on a couple videos and give me a little bit of her advice. And what she mentioned is actually something that I have learned this past week. And I'm like, oh, that makes sense. So I did mention in my last update that I noticed that I was starting to break out a little bit. And I took it upon myself to think, well, what could be causing this? Something that's probably too nourishing. And I kind of like broke it down and said that it was probably the Revitalixer. That's a serum that I've been using. Well, because I decided to kind of wean that out of my skincare routine and I was mainly just using actives, my skin went berserk. Something else that I'm noticing too, which James Welsh mentioned in a video that I recently watched, and again, this really kind person also mentioned in a comment, was when you're using actives, you're going to notice a purge. I also saw actually all of the above, Susan, Hiram, and James. Um, some videos that I've been watching, they all mentioned that you will notice like a purge when you're using actives. Now looking back, I'm like, okay, that makes sense. That's why I felt like my skin was looking better, but I was starting to get breakouts. It wasn't because of the Revital Elixir being like too nourishing or clogging my pores or anything like that. I'm going to say that it was because of the actives and my skin was purging. So now since I stopped using that serum and I've been, I guess, using too many actives too often, I am going to say that what I'm noticing is what I've mentioned early on in this journey with the whole skin barrier thing. I think by over exfoliating, using too many actives and I guess being a little too aggressive, thinking that that was going to attack those breakouts that to me, now I see those are probably just like purges. I feel like I destroyed my skin barrier that I've been working so hard to repair. But something that I've learned is the difference between purging and like a damaged skin barrier. You can see the difference by looking at obviously what your skin is doing. This is like so obvious, right? But I'm gonna try to explain it to you because this is how I'm understanding. If you can see now, and I will zoom in in a little bit, but my skin, those trouble spots that have been just constant are flaky again. They're red, they're inflamed, they're peeling. Whereas the breakouts that I saw in my last week's update, the breakouts that I was talking about were really just that. They were breakouts. They were like normal little, I hate this word, pimples, right? Now experiencing like the flaking and the irritation, 
versus those little breakouts here and there, I 100% would prefer where I was at last week versus where I'm at this week. That being said, for those other fellow visual learners like myself, again, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see, and if you'd like to compare last week to this week, I think that's a really good example of over exfoliating, using too many actives, and damaging your skin barrier. Where I was last time, which seemed to be a purge versus this week where I basically just destroyed my skin again. You know what, it's like frustrating, but I'm glad in a way that I'm kind of doing this and trying things out and seeing what's happening at the expense of my skin, but I'm hoping that you guys can learn along with me and see a good example of everything that I just talked about. Okay, so right here, do you see how bad that looks? And last week I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> it's still not good, blah, blah, blah. But if you compare last week to now, this week is like so much worse. It's so much more red. Like what happened? But you can see, you can see the redness. You can see, I think you can see like how flaky, like irritated it is, like inflamed. And I do feel it. Like even when I just rinse my face, it like almost hurts a little bit. So <laughs> that's not a good thing. Same with this side. Like what happened? So bad, everything is red again. Random little spots are coming up. It's it's so bad, so bad. But yeah, I think, like I said, last week to this week is such a clear example of over exfoliating, using too many actives, not really nurturing the skin, kind of just like attacking the skin. And it shows that like you can do too much to the skin. I'm so thankful that I came across those videos just this past week when I was like, what is going on? And I was getting very frustrated and I was gonna give up and like throw in the towel. But I'm so thankful that I'm educating myself and learning about this whole skincare world. I think we're done with the zooming in, right? Okay. My children are having fun right now. If you hear them laughing, I apologize if the sound of children laughing bothers you, but that's gonna be happening in the background. I don't really feel like interrupting their fun. Okay, so now since learning that, what I have been doing this week is, again, simplifying my skincare, but instead of simplifying and being aggressive and only using actives, I am trying to repair my skin barrier yet again and really just nurture my skin before I reintroduce any type of like exfoliant or retinol or anything like that. I have been trying to not over cleanse my face. So really some mornings I just kind of rinse my face, sometimes like wash it down with like a damp towel. I don't go in and scrub, like I'm not aggressive, just like a little quick cleanse. Also guys, I just caught a glimpse of that, but it is so cold and dry where I live right now. I'm literally looking out the window and we got three feet of snow last night. So you can see even my hands are literally cracked red. It's so bad. They're bleeding. Not to mention the fact that we got a puppy and I am potty training my youngest. So there is lots of hand washing going on. So you can see what over cleansing does, not just to my skin on my face, but look at my hands, my poor hands. Okay. That's enough attention to that. It's really bad, guys. Really, really bad. So anyways, yes, going back. Sometimes I'll use the vitamin C cleanser, but really I've just been trying to do less. The whole less is more idea. So I'll rinse my face in the morning, put on the Revitalixer serum. I've reintroduced that into my skincare routine because I've realized that that actually was very beneficial for me. And then I'll go over top with the vitamin C moisturizer. And then at night I'll cleanse either with actually the vitamin C cleanser, so that way I'm not using too many of like clarifying ingredients or anything like that. So I haven't really been using the salicylic acid cleanser. I've been using at night like the vitamin C cleanser, sometimes a salicylic acid cleanser. And then I'll go in with the hydrogel, the water gel moisturizer, and the Revitalixer serum. Now something that I've just tried the past two days, I believe, after watching Skincare by Hiram, he was talking about the difference between hydration and moisture. And he did mention applying like an hyaluronic acid moisturizer, like what I have, and then actually going over top with a serum that has oils in it to kind of seal that moisture in, 
where what I have been using, just because I, I always thought like serum was thinner than the moisturizer. So I would put the serum first and then the moisturizer on top. But the past couple of nights, I put the moisturizer first and the serum on top to see if that would kind of like seal in the moisture or the hydration, I should say, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, I don't know if it makes that much of a difference as far as those two products, which one I put first. This past week, I've basically just been cleansing it when necessary, mostly just at night to kind of like get a clean canvas after the day and really just going in with the Revita Elixir Serum and a lot of moisture and hydration. So I'm hoping that that will get us back to where we need to be. But in a way, as frustrated as I am and how, even though it pains me to see that my skin is getting better and it was my own fault that it's like destroyed again, I am glad that I was able to go through this and experience it because I am learning. And again, for my other visual learners out there, you can see, you can clearly see that the difference between breakouts and imperfections due to a damaged skin barrier. So unfortunately, my skin is suffering a little bit, but thankfully we, I think, in my opinion, we can see why it's suffering and we can therefore correct it. So I'm not discouraged. It's a little bit disheartening because I've made progress, but I'm not discouraged because I feel like now I see the problem and I know the solution, or at least I think I know the solution. I do, again, appreciate any type of advice, any comments, any type of recommendations. It definitely is helpful. Like I said, I am learning. I am not afraid to admit that I'm making mistakes along the way, and that's fine because that's how you learn. So I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I'm this skin expert, that I know it all, because I don't. I obviously absolutely don't. And I know there are many people out there like me. I know I'm not alone in this and it can be very overwhelming. I know I get overwhelmed with like, what does this ingredient do? What do I need for this? And you think, okay, this is my problem. This is what I need to do to solve it. And that's not always the case. I'm happy to be doing this whole trial and error in hopes to help not only myself, but help you too. I think that does it for this week's update. It was definitely a little bit different than I was expecting to be. Based off of my experience last week, I was in that headspace like, okay, yeah, like I'm going to get rid of the thing that's causing my breakouts. My skin's going to look fabulous. And it actually ended up being the complete opposite. I think I'm getting the gist of things. I'm looking forward to what this coming week will bring. I'm trying to stay positive and optimistic and we'll see what happens. So that does it for my week nine journey of using only Murad products. So for now, I am still sticking with it. I'm going to see where I end up in the future. Part of me kind of wants to now, since learning a little bit more about skincare and ingredients and everything like that, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to branch out and try other lines, other products. Not sure if I should stick to one line, although I kind of like that because it kind of gives, in my opinion, it gives a good idea of what things work well from which lines or sometimes certain products work well from one brand versus other brands. I don't know. But anyways, this is just now I'm rambling. Now I'm just like thinking out loud. But I hope, I really hope that this was helpful for you guys. I do thank you for joining me on this skincare journey if you will. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. Turn the notifications on if you want to be notified anytime I upload. Be sure to stay happy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. My children are having fun, which could be a good thing, but can also be dangerous. Girls, what are you doing? Please hold.